Hey everybody, it's Steve here, and welcome back to the playthrough that is not a playthrough. It's Bubble Bobble. Um, yeah, this is where we left off last time with these aliens, basically, is what I'm gonna call them. Um, yeah, you've got to get up inside of uh, each of their little, uh, their little whatever. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is basically. Um, I'm starting to think of it as my depression game, basically. I mean, I like the game, obviously, but I'm saying that it's a game that I've... these parts I've been putting up is... is uh, it's a game that, that I'll... that I'm doing now whenever I'm just, like, not in the mood to do anything else, or just had a bad day or whatever. Because I'm not taking it seriously at all. I'm not trying at all to achieve anything. Um, that's kind of what this is. Um, it's been a, a rough week. Uh... I fully admit to being a little on the miserable side today. Um, I don't know. I, I I'm just glad that this week is over. Um, already, my back's starting to bug me. Um, there's one thing about um, these guys right here, real quick. I just want to say that um, they are like a small version of the final enemy of the game, the final boss of the game. Um, they're actually called drunks, which is really bizarre to me. But, um... Oh, ouch. Anyway, um... My back is bugging me. Like I said, um, the, the one thing I'm noticing, which is against everything that I would like it to be, um, is that... Which I guess is true, is that the more you stay active, you know, if something's aching on you or hurting you, that the more you stay active and keep it moving, it feels better than it does when you just kind of lay around and do nothing. And on my days off, obviously, I do a lot of nothing. And it, it really gets my back acting up. And, uh, it's just kind of ironic that, uh, you know, going to work and, and, and lifting animals and bending and crouching and on, on the floor and, you know, that kind of thing is actually seemingly better for my back than, you know, resting it and doing nothing with it. I don't know. You know, it, your mind wants it to be the opposite. You know, you want to lay around and be a bum and take it easy. Because, um, that's what's helpful. You know, but it's not. It's the other way around. So now that the, uh, better weather is approaching, you know, spring is right around the corner, I'm um, just going to have to make a conscious effort to, on my days off, to really stay more active and to get out and to do some things. And I don't know what, that's what kills me, is that, you know, when you have n really no money to do anything with, you've really got no place to go, no one really to do anything with, um, yes, that fits in with the depression theme of this video. Ouch. How are you supposed to get up there with all those, I mean, you got a bubble jump, obviously, but then that happens. Um, yeah try that again. Yeah, you know, so you got a bubble jump up top, and then, well, I guess the idea is not to have that many enemies up on that platform like I had last time. This is a little better. Now we're just dealing with one. There we go. Um, so I should try to, you know, get out and, and stay more active. It's going to be better for my back. And not just my back. I think I mentioned this before that I've got it just seems like every day or every week I've got some new ache or pain, whether it's my arm or my leg or my back or my shoulder, and it just seems like it's always something. Ooh, big giant popsicle thing. Um, what's cool in um, Bubble Bobble Plus, which um, I might, when this is all said and done, um, you know, make a video of that, you know, just to show the contrast between the two games. I mean, it's the same game, but you know, improved graphics and whatnot. But um, they also actually have a uh, way that you can view um, how many of the bonus items you've you've picked up. You know, they have like a list of like like an achievement kind of thing. You know, blank boxes, and with each fruits and item that diamond and all that stuff that you pick up, you know, it's like over a hundred or something. You know, because you definitely see some strange things like that giant popsicle and. You know, the cake or whatever it's supposed to be. I mean, the most common ones are the oranges here. Which, in the original arcade version of the game, um, the lowest 
point valued fruit that you can get was a banana worth 500 so that's kind of absent in this version of the game that the lowest one you get is the orange there which is worth a thousand of course that one was in a place I couldn't get to it um are you serious I hope I'm not supposed to like use that enemy put him in a bubble and well no because I can just use any bubble um you supposed to get up the middle no no well that's not gonna work um yeah, what the hell is this? Uh, yeah, I should be able to... So, okay, so you can get bubbles in the middle. Which is kind of what I need to do to get up there. But how how do I just get those bubbles in the middle? Um, well, this is seemingly unfair. No, yeah, I don't know, the hurry up sign. That's not going to make things any better. Um... Hmm. And all commentary ceases while I try and figure out what in the hell I'm supposed to do here. Uh, well, okay. Uh, I think this is it, folks. I think, um, <laughs> I think I've reached, uh, the end of this little, um, you know, quasi-playthrough. Faux playthrough. <laughs> well, no, I guess it doesn't matter if I... Yeah, I might as well get rid of him, because there's no point. Um, how in the hell are you supposed to get up there with them shooting at you? Plus my horrible bubble jumping skills in the first place, you know? Mm, this is just cruel, is what this is. <laughs> um, there we go. Get... That would have been it if I was able to bubble jump like, you know, a normal person. I'd be up there already. Oh my god. Yeah, this is going to be it, folks. Um, I don't know. Everyone take it easy. Have a good day. Peace. I'll, maybe I'll see you next time for more Bubble Bobble, okay?